Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on tech videos. So today we're unboxing slash doing a first impression on Dell's Octoplex 5060 Micro Desktop. Uh, I picked this up at my 9 to 5 job. We actually picked up three of them. And the reason why is because we're upgrading a bunch of conference rooms with some nice 4K, I think 85 inch TVs. And we need a computer. This little guy is powerful, small. We're actually able to hook it up at the back of the TV with a special mount and use the operating system on big screen. So that's awesome. So let's get down into the unboxing. All right, so what comes inside the box? Uh, we have our warranty, safety, little uh, information, little booklet right here. Put that to the side. We have our power adapter with our power cable. I'm gonna plug it in. And we are done with that. Cool, awesome. This is a 90 watt power adapter. We have our standard USB keyboard. And it also comes with a USB mouse, cool. And here's the micro desktop. <laughs> I laugh because it's so small. I love the Octoplex 560s. They're so awesome to have. They're great little guys for entertainment, especially if you're setting up a conference room. This guy works. You know, when conference rooms, you're basically doing what? Zoom meetings, go to meetings, Skype meetings, and doing PowerPoints and PDFs. This little guy would do it all for you. All right, so I'm going to hook everything up. Power it on, and uh, we're going to take a look at the specifications. Now, before I plug in the, the mouse, the keyboard, and the monitor, and the power adapter to power this guy up, uh, the 5060 Micro Octoplus desktop from Dell has a lot of ports and features. On the front side, you have your power button. You have your, uh, it looks like your combo jack, which allows you to hook up your mic or a headphone. You have your line in. You have a Type-C connection. One 3.1 USB port always on charging. Now on the back side, you have more ports. So let's turn it around. Now starting from the top, it looks like we have a VGA port, an RJ45 or your Ethernet port. We have one, two, three, four 3.1 USB ports. And we have two display ports. And right here is your power port. Cool. So light, so small. If you're wondering about the height, I have my... Uh, Volume 32 of One Piece, that's what I'm reading right now. And look at that. The book is taller than the 5060. That's awesome. Cool. All right, so let's plug this guy in. I'm going to configure it. Then we're going to take a closer look on the specifications. All right, so it finally loaded up. I set it up, did the whole username and password and configured it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, if I do a Windows R, do a Win VR, looks like it has Windows 10 Pro version 1803, which is awesome. Let's close that up. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi, which is a huge plus. Wi-Fi build, I think it has Wi-Fi. Oh, it doesn't, this doesn't look like it has Wi-Fi. Uh, when I went to the Dell site, it looks like it does, some models do have Wi-Fi, but this one does not have it. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, so let's right click on the taskbar, task manager. Let's open this up, go to performance. Right click on the CPU and go to logical processor. What? Cool. <laughs> so this guy comes with, I'm going to make this a little smaller. What? Nonsense. That's crazy. So the 5060 Octoplex, the micro desktop, or the Dell Octoplex 5060 micro desktop, right? Ugh, crazy. Uh, comes with an Intel Core i7-8700T processor with a clock speed of 2.40 gigahertz. Nice. I think maybe if you go inside BIOS and enable Turbo, you could probably get maybe 3.40, maybe. 
This one comes with one socket, six cores, 12 logical processors. Wow, 16 gigs of memory. I'm assuming maybe the max is 32 gigs. And it does come with an Intel Ultra HD Graphics 630. If I right click on the desktop, go to display settings. It is hooked up with display display. The monitor that I'm using right now is the BenQ 4K and I'm doing the full resolution of 3840 by 2160. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now the retail price for the Octoplex 5060 Micro uh, starts around 580. That's not that bad, 580. But I think the 580 you're gonna probably get maybe the i3 or the i5 processor, eight gigs of memory. Uh, for storage, what do we have here? For storage, it looks like we have 500 gigs. Nice, I think it's 500 gig solid state drive. This is a Toshiba MQ01ACF050. Now, first impressions on the 5060 Micro. Uh, I love the little guy. It's super small. Again, <laughs> the my One Piece Volume 32 is taller than the device. It is super, super light. Uh, the reason that we picked this guy up is because we are upgrading a couple of our conference rooms at the 9 to 5 job. Uh, we are placing, I believe, 80 or 85 inch 4K uh, TVs. And we need a computer in there for people to present their PowerPoint or PDF or go online or watch YouTube videos or whatever. Uh, this little guy, we purchased a special mount that we're going to put it at the back of the TV, slide this guy in there, and then we're good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash first impressions on the Dell Octoplex 5060 micro desktop. If you have ever used one of these before, what are your thoughts? Leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.